I've developed a set of dies I call rounding over dies. These rounding over dies have a lot of different uses and they come in four sizes. And one thing they're great for is just finishing an edge to give it a nice finished look. So I've got a sort of unusual shaped plate here and I'll just run this die set around the edge of the part and you'll see what it does. So in just a few seconds, we've done a beautiful job of finishing the edge of this panel. And that's one of the things the rounding over dies are really good for. Let me show you another application of the same die set. When I first got into this business back in the 1960s, I was building bodies for front engine dragsters. And one of my favorite cars of the era was the Greer Black and Prudhomme Dragster. It was one of the winningest cars that was ever built. And I've been working on a half-size replica of that car. So I'm going to show you how this side panel for the tail section was made. It starts with a flat piece of metal like this, and I'll use the rounding over dies on the edges to give them the proper curl. Let's get set up for that next. I'll be using the one inch radius rounding over dies for this. So I'll tilt this machine to a comfortable angle, lock it in place, and then I'll roll this panel through the dies. So the rounding over starts at about this point. So I'll crank this down two turns and then just start feeding the metal in on this top edge. So that's round and over. And now we'll do the bottom edge. And again, these dies have a stop built right into them. So I'm just keeping the edge of the metal against the stop as I'm rolling. Of course, it'll take many more steps to complete the tail section, but you can see just how fast the rounding over dies are for curling this edge and starting the process. Now this can be done by hammering, and that would be fine, but it would take a lot longer, and a hammered edge never comes out as smooth as this. We're going to use these dies in a different situation now. I'll use the half inch radius rounding over dies to form a peak on a piece of metal that will become the top of a motorcycle gas tank. This is the style of tank I'll be making a top piece for. You can see this tank has a beautiful raised ridge going down the center of it. And I'll create that ridge by raising up this edge with a half inch radius rounding over die. You can see I've used the 5 16 radius die all around the perimeter of this part. So I'll put this in the machine to create that raised edge. So this time of course I'll be putting the piece of metal in the machine upside down. So the flange will be formed in this direction. So I'll put the metal in the machine, tight against the guide on the bottom die, crank this down to the bottom, and then slowly roll this through. So the curl is nicely formed, and I'll show you how this matches the tank. You can see that's a very fast and easy way to make half of the raised peak for the center of the tank. And of course, the next step would be to raise a peak on the other side, weld them together. And when it's sanded smooth, it really does make a wonderful feature. Here's the gas tank I'll make the end cap for. So one end cap is already finished, and this is the blank I'll use to make the end cap for the other side. So I'm going to run over all four edges of this plate with the rounding over dies. And then to finish the panel, I'll roll a bead in the center. The shaft on this machine is 20 millimeters and the bore on the die is 15 16 So it takes a spacer to adapt the die to this machine. So let's put these dies to use, making the end cap for the gas tank. So I'll set the gap between the dies so it has just light pressure against the metal. And then this die has a guide built into the lower roll. So I keep the edge of the metal engaged tightly against that guide as I roll it through the machine and you can see it really does a nice job of rounding the edge over. So there's the first edge, and I'll do the last edge. Okay, so all four edges are formed, and I'll try this into place on the tank. So I've trimmed the tip off the square corners, and now I think you can see just how well this fits the tank. So I'll roll the bead in the center of the panel, and we'll join these together. 
I've welded the end cap into place and finished the weld by sanding. And you can see it finishes off the tank beautifully. So the rounding over dies are a great tool for making shapes like tanks. Another job the beating machine is ideal for is making a simple fender like a motorcycle fender. This will be a three-piece construction, two flat side pieces and a curved top piece. So the first step is I'll use a large beading die to put a bead down the center of the panel. Then I'll use the rounding over die to put a radius on both the fender cap and the fender side. And you'll see that we can make a complete fender very, very quickly with these tools. So the next step is to join this piece to the two side pieces, finish the weld, trim the edges, and we'll have a completed fender. The fender is finished and I've mounted it to the fork of the bike. And I think you can see it follows the contour of the front tire very closely. So this is a very simplified way of making a complicated part like this front fender.